Hey you, do you want the easiest build for Onslaught? Here you go. This build is going to be focused on getting Well of Radiance back constantly using the Warlock Exotic Phoenix Protocol. As we're getting kills and assists in this, our super energy is just going to spike up without using any special mods. Just look at this clip where it's only taken me 18 seconds to get my well back and this was pretty slow, as at this point there's not the highest density of ads here that you can get. We're going to be absolutely melting bosses and flying through this activity with no dramas whatsoever. Enough demonstration, let's get into the build. What Phoenix Protocol does is any kills or assists you get whilst you're in your well will give you back super energy. And as I mentioned just, we're using Well of Radiance a lot. For aspects, I run Touch of Flame, and it doesn't matter too much if you choose Icarus Dash or Heat Rises, it's personal choice. For Fragments, we're running Ember of Empyrean to keep up, to keep up any restoration or radiant effects we have, and then Char, Ashes and Eruption, as they all work great together for Scorch and Ignitions. Onto the Artifact mods, we're running what's on the screen now, and these will cover all bases. If you've got Fallen and have Overload Champions, you can also run Overload Rocket Launcher, seeing as they will be using rockets throughout the whole phases. For weapons, I'm using Succession, Zowley's Bane with Incandescent, and Galawan. Mods aren't too important, but you'll want to be running Heavy Ammo Finder, Heavy Ammo Scout, and Solar Scavenger to keep supplying yourself and team with a crazy amount of heavy ammo. For team composition, you're best off running with a Void Hunter if you're running this build. The Void Hunter should be running Shadow Shot Deadfall and the exotic Orpheus Rig. That way they're going to have their tether up constantly. For boss phases, keep an eye on what the surge is for the week so you can equip accordingly for a juicy damage buff. And as you've seen in this video, grenade launchers were on here. I have unfortunately still not got a decent roll of the Edge Transit. A good roll to get for it would include the perks either Envious Assassin or Cascade Point in the third column and Bait and Switch in the fourth column. Using three of these, bosses just fall over. If you want your teammates to love you, your well positioning should be here and here for this ADU. For this ADU, pop it here. And lastly, for this ADU on this pillar, and if they're spawning on the other side, this pillar. On screen are the mods that I'm running with this build. As you can see, my resilience and intellect are at 100. If you're not able to do this with the gear that you have, just get your resilience to 100 and your intellect as high as you can. You can always use a Font of Wisdom Helmet mod to give your intellect an extra boost if you're unable to get it to 100. Using this build and team composition really makes Legend Onslaught extremely easy and you won't barely have to heal your ADU. I'd really appreciate if you could like, subscribe and let me know in the comments any thought about the video. And definitely let me know if it's helped you. Catch you next time.